world, skaters, skate fans. Thanks for tuning in to this latest video. In this video, I will be sharing what we call the turn circuit, so crossover circuit. It is really just three exercises that we do over and over in a loop for a very short period of time, but then the whole loop itself will take a long time. So I recommend you to do a few minutes at first and then move from there up to 10 or maybe even 20 minutes of continuous turn circuit. So the way we do it is that every 20 seconds, we start a new exercise. And there's three different exercises that I'll be explaining and demonstrating and giving you all the technical advice you would need to do them well in just a second. The first exercise is jumping on the right leg upstairs. So you need to find a staircase. Uh, average stairs is pretty fine. It doesn't matter if they're a little smaller, a little bigger than what you would usually find but just something not too wild with enough space, of course, to have not just one foot, but also have the other leg here next to it. So they would need a little bit of width, but nothing crazy. Most stairs will be just fine. You can see the one I'll be using. Find something like that and you're definitely good. So the first exercise is jumping on the right leg. The second exercise is jumping on the left. And then the third exercise will be crosses. The way we do them is that we do five on the right, Every 20 seconds we start again. So you start your clock, five on the right, and then once 20, that'll take about six, eight seconds. So you walk back down to the bottom of the stairs. If you have a long staircase, you can just do it continuously. You get back there and then you do it on the left. On the left, we only do four steps. Now ultimately you do crosses where we do 10 entire steps, given that not a crossover is a step, but each from the right to the left, to the right you count each one of those and then 10 of those and that'll be one minute and then you know the more you can do with good technique just keep going in this video and basically every time i do anything off skates even a bit of it on skates i use my wear bands i demonstrate how these works in other videos i use my grass board muscle oxygen measurement device to see the actual difference using these bands and it's pretty ridiculous we're talking that you can limit half the oxygen you get to your legs or basically make the same movement twice as hard and benefit from that using these wear bands. You can see how I'm wearing them in the video, but the idea of it is pretty simple. You just wear this around your waist. You have these attached to your feet and you can also use them for the arms as I'll be doing in exercises like these where there's a little more arm movement. Then that will, and of course you can pick the resistance of your choice of your level that will add that resistance and make it a lot, trust me, a lot harder to do the exercises. So the green is one of the easier ones that I'll be using for a while, simply because I want to get my technique on point. Then when I do more simple exercises like up down squats, pretty simple, basic, can't get that wrong. If you manage to bend your legs and stay sort of stable, I add a ton of resistance, simply so I have to do fewer reps or that I can get more out of the reps that I do, avoiding injuries and still keeping the same movement pattern. So get one of these, I'll leave a link below. They are super cheap for how much you get out of it. So can't recommend these enough. So this one exercise, I will just show you here a little bit of how you do them. And then you can see, of course, on the stairs, how it works. The sound in there at the oval, the oval is right here, by the way. The sound in there is terrible. I mean, you can almost hear the music out there. So we decided to do the explanation outdoors with a proper mic. And then you can see how I actually do the exercise. So if we start with the right leg exercise, that would be jumping. So imagine there's a staircase. The, the most important, there's two things. You gotta get the position right. And then you gotta try and have as little airtime as possible onto the next step. So this is not an ex about exercise about full power extension. It's about that position and getting a good rhythm, landing smoothly, and generating power. Not a lot of power, but just being able to, to do that properly in that position. So as everything we do, we get down here, find that 90 degree angle. When you have that, you let this loose in the air. So that'll be about 90, 90 degrees here. This would be vertical, because that's how gravity works. <laughs> and then 
you simply just jump up on the stairs. Notice if your legs or if your knees are wobbly, do fewer minutes, do less, smaller stairs, less resistance with the wear bands, but that's the way you can change this. Another way of adding more resistance without finding different stairs is simply also just by adding stronger elastics to your wear bands, very easy. The next one on the left leg, same idea. We always start with these nine degrees. It is probably the most important thing in skating to have a good position. If you're out of position, you can't develop power. You can't, you can't generate speed. So for this one, you know, it is really imitating the crossover. So the first we imitate that part of the crossover. Now we're moving on to this part. So you'd want this leg to be going out a little, not full extension, because that's not the part we're practicing here. We're practicing this and landing solid, toe, knee, shoulder, align, pointing forward, and then small steps like that. So as you do that step, you can pull this knee a little up here, because that's what you'd be doing on skates. This is a cross over. <laughs> So try to imitate that crossover. So again, down here, don't overextend it. The small hops. And that's how we do that one. The final one, crossovers, kind of self-explanatory. You can't extend, you shouldn't extend, but just practice landing solid. And of course you do it on a staircase. That's basically it for these three exercises. Questions? Leave them in the comments. Ideas for other videos, other topics. Super curious, let me know and I'll make a video for you guys. Most of my videos by now are on the platform called www.thorpskating, great name, .com. Check that out. Uh, you can subscribe to this or you can simply just get the content you would like on there. And I'm producing a ton of it because I want to share skating with all you guys. Made my life a lot of fun. Hope it'll, it'll bring a little joy to yours. But for now, just uh, thankful that you tuned in and watched this video. I'm Victor Hal Thorpe. Could have mentioned that in the intro, actually. Well, if you didn't know, you know now. See you next time.